Hi guys, my name is Tina and today I want to talk about the show called The 100 and this video will contain a lot of spoilers because I'm going to talk about like recap the episode and talk about my thoughts about it so if you didn't see the episode or don't want to hear any spoilers I would <laughs> I like you should not watch this video most likely and if you don't not are not familiar with the show Fine Bros did a amazing recap of the first two seasons so you should definitely look it up I will put a link in the description because I watched it before this season started and I think I'm gonna rewatch after this season is over I will rewatch it all together because it's really a good show but if you want to like it you have to give it a chance at least make it till like episode number six of season one but let's get into this episode I will maybe jump from a scene to scene because I like in my head it's all in one big mashup but I will try to go as I as, as the show did I'm not sure if I'll be <laughs> able to keep up so the show starts with uh, Lexa going to Clark and she's like I give you a week so you should be able to like see me now oh bitch please like Clark is not ready to see you she wants to freaking kill you and I wanted to Clark to kill her because I mean she betrayed her so badly like why wouldn't Clark want to kill her it wouldn't make sense if she didn't want to kill her so I was a little bit disappointed by the fact that she didn't try to or didn't do anything really at that point but she was a prisoner so it didn't make way made sense whatever and then like Lexa tells her that she wants the sky crew to become the 13th clan so this whole episode is basically about them, like, Sky Crew joining the Grounders. And she tells that because there are, like, uh, representations for every clan. And she tells them to, to them. And uh, the guy from, I don't know his name, I don't think they said his name, but the guy from Ice Nation, he says, like, oh, you can't do this. You, we, we won't have this. And he's, like, really upset with her. And she's like, you will listen to me. So come up to here. We will talk in private. She calls him up. And they are talking in, in like she calls him up into this front like in front of this big window basically they're in a very 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 tall building and she freaking kicks him off like oh my god that was the best scene from this whole episode because it was this uh, sparta well at least i was watching an after bus after show and like everybody was saying like this is Sparta, not everybody, but a lot of people said this is Sparta. So it was amazing. Then we see Kane and Abby going to the summit and they like talk together and like when I see them together, I ship it. And there was a lot of people like shipping them together. It was on the on the live show today. It was like Cabby, 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 because that's their ship name, I guess. I never heard it before. <laughs> that's their ship name so good for them and they are the only like two people who I actually would want to be together because in a way it will make sense they are adults and like we see Bellamy sleeping with somebody and then having Gina right now and then we see like Clark kissing Lexa but they're all kids basically we didn't see any like real adult relationship and I think the show would be better if they did like have kind of the, they would be like father and mother and father Kane and Abby like taking care of everybody so I think that is a good choice for them to be together and the only one that will make ses sense to this point because nobody else is together okay Lexa and Clark are going to be together for some time in the capital I I feel like that just has to happen but just let's make Cabby happen. Nobody will be angry about that. I don't think so. Because there is no reason for them not to be together. So let's move to Mount Weather. Where Olivia, Bellamy, Gina and St. Clair. No, St. Clair is already there. So they come up to... Well, there. I think they're going just for some supplies or something. They didn't really say why they came there. But there are like a lot of sky people in there. I think like 26 or 36 people. And I didn't understand why would they do that when Abby or, or Kane or both of them last episode specifically said that is the worst possible idea because the grounders will be really angry that they went there. And it's like, why would you do something that you know you're going to angry people you want to make? Like, <sighs> that 
that made me really upset and I knew it's going to screw something up even worse. So I was like, no, this is not going to be good. Then Olivia runs out like, oh, I won't be part of this. Of course she wouldn't. She's a grounder. She's upset as well. And then like two other people bring Echo who like Bellamy's, oh, no, 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 leave her alone. She's good. She saved my life. I trust her. Don't trust anybody. Like just don't Bellamy. Just stop trusting people. It doesn't bring you any good. Like when it ever does. But Bellamy does trust her and she like comes in and talks about the fact that there's going to be an assassin on the summit where Kane and Abby are and she's going to like the assassin is going to try to kill them. So Bellamy's like, oh, we have to go and like save them. So Bellamy and Pike and uh, and Olivia leave to the capital and then find like the guards of like their guards, Sky guards being dead. So they just like, oh, we have to hurry up. We have to save them. And they go through like some sort of tunnels and they get to the place but we're gonna get there back a little bit later I want to talk about other things that happen first we have this weird scene out of nowhere where Alexa is like training kids before the summit like just like hours before the summit why would she need to do that before the summit like she needs to spend time like preparing and talking to her advisors whatever it is she needs to do like get a dress ready I don't know but like can't anybody else train the children the hour before the summit or three hours or how many time it was it wasn't important why was it like it doesn't make sense but whatever she was training kitties and like somebody some of the kids hit her so it was it just no that was my least favorite scene from this episode and then we go back to like Mount Weather in the meantime when we see that like um, Raven and Gina and St. Clair are trying to find code for the missiles because they know about the assassin assassination. And Gina's like, oh, maybe maybe the person that had it written down somewhere in his office. So she's going, Gina is going to find it. And during all this, they like, they start the ceremony in the, in the capital city where they're going to accept... Um, the 13th clan being the sky crew and like Clark is dressed up and they're playing grand grounders anthem and there is a, this amazing singer singing along they walk in and then we go back to to the mount weather and because we see the assassin attacking he attacks Gina in the present office and he it's like game of thrones red wedding rob uh, rob stark's wife all over again like stabbing like what was that Gina, Gina is like, oh, he put a uh, call for self-destruction. And uh, St. Clair and Raven runs out after the assassin and they kills him. But they have like four seconds left or something and Gina is already dead. So Mount Weather <laughs> blows up. No more Mount Weather, no more sky people who are in there. We don't know who was there exactly, but... Yes, like just some random people just blow up again, like who cares, right? <laughs> and then like Bellamy and Pike and Olivia run into the summit and everybody's like, why do you have weapons? You're not supposed to have weapons in the capital. And then Raven calls them and she's like, oh, somebody blew up Mount Weather. And they're like, oh, it was the Sky Crew. I'll arrest all of them. It's like all messy and everything is happening. And, some, and like one time and everybody is confused and everybody is angry and everybody... <sighs> and, and like it's just all too much and Bellamy sees Clark and he's like oh you have to come with us and she's like no I have to stay they need me here because I'm one Hida and I have to be at Lexa's right hand uh, it was a very exhausting episode I was like what no, what uh, uh, I didn't I was just mind blown throughout the whole episode but that happens when you watch the 100 you just don't know what you're gonna get but you like what you're getting even though we don't like what you're getting you knew you know what I mean like when they killed off Finn you didn't like they killed him but you like they did because it just it made the show so much better and I might like just right now go back to a few moments that I didn't really get to cover so like when <laughs> when Abby came into the capital, she wanted to see Clark, of course. And when they have their moment, they meet. 
and he's like, oh, Clark. And Clark is like, let's talk business. Like, I don't have time. Let's talk. Let's talk. And he's like, give me a moment. I want to see my daughter. He's like, nah, we don't have time for that. But it was just, <laughs> it was such a, they have all funny moments. And Abby wants to, Kane to be a chancellor again. And when they are being accepted as the 13th clan, he like gets marked so they know they are part of grounders. It's like so many things happened. We didn't see any Jasper, any Monty, any Jaha. And like, who who missed Jaha? Like, honestly, people who watched this episode, who missed Jaha? We didn't have even time to put Jaha anywhere in this episode. Like, I'm sure his storyline with the artificial intelligence and like the City of Light, it's going to be something really interesting and important in later episodes. But right now, I just, I care about the things that happen in the capital and in Arcadia and with the characters that are interacting with the grounders because Jaha is not doing anything right now. So he's not really interesting. But at the same time, I want Murphy to be back because Murphy, Murphy is amazing. Like, right? Murphy is such an interesting character and I think we're gonna see him develop into something completely different than we know him for. I hope so because... The actor is amazing and everything about it is just really awesome. But let's go just to the start and tell something I think is going to happen. So at the end we see Lexa and Clark being alone together again. And Lexa kneels down and she's like, oh, we will be together. Well, blah, blah, blah. Everybody, I was like, oh, they're going to kiss. And if they do, they will like make me very angry because it's not the right time. They didn't. They didn't kiss. We didn't see any Lexa. But... We are on the third episode, okay, people? We have a lot of time. And just, I can't wait for this season because there's so many things happening. Will Raven have the operation? Is Jasper going to be normal again? Is Jasper going to get killed this season because they're making him into, in a way, a villain? Is Clara going to be with Bellamy, with Alexa, with nobody? Is, uh... Is the Ice Queen the mother of Lexa? Why is she trying to kill her? So many questions and I can't wait to find out the answers. I just love this show and I'm just... I'm so happy that I, I gave it a second chance. So if you ever thought about giving this show a chance, just do. You won't regret it. It's, it's like sci-fi version of Game of Thrones for me. But the CW version of Game of Thrones. So it's not so much nudity and sex, but <laughs> pretty much gruesome deaths there are there. Like, it's a great show and it deserves for you to watch it. Okay, I should stop rambling and I just, I'm excited to make another review about the movie or TV show. So see you in my next review.